Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in the alpha build of Need to Know for another glorious day of minding the people's business at the Department of Liberty as Vincent Halle. This time, I believe, if I remember correctly, our jurisdiction is going to expand to include conspiracy uh, to commit various crimes. So without further ado, let's log in and see what the assignment is for the day. Here we go, clearance level 9. Search dclap.com users for security threats. We got seven suspects. Operation Foxlight. <laughs> okay. We are assigning you another one-off operation. In this case, Codex has assembled a group of users who have posted on the controversial website dclap.com. The site has been a hive of anti-establishment thought before and is now a permanent target for the DOL. Since the department's trial jurisdiction has grown again, you must also now use Black Sheep to highlight any threats of violence. Objective, search dclap.com users for security threats and criminal behavior. Let's look at the rules. Suspicious topics, theft, proof of theft, uh, violent threats, proof of violent crime, and fraud. Now I'm assuming violent threats and fraud because there's no proof around it means just any instance of it. We'll go with that assumption for now. Persons of interest, Dev Kavi also gets a black sheep. Uh, for research, just flag it down. Cult, President, DOL, that's us, and Alamo. Okay, and let's begin. Now, what I'm thinking is, we used to go west to east. Let's go east to west this time around. Winona Yu. 30-year-old from New York, interior designer, 35,500, Codex report, internet scam victim, former medical student, former medical student, jigsaw enthusiast, and, a tr and has trust issues. D-Fashion, ugh, is Floro seriously back? D-Corpse, hardwood gloss, search LeBran winter announcements, okay. Purchases, one pair of Ugg boots, one Monstars Bubkiss sweater, and one monthly rent of 1650. Really? Where do you get 1650 in New York? Unless you're in like the outer boroughs, I guess. Okay. Uh, the one thing I don't know, there's nothing here by the way, so she's safe, but the only thing I don't know is whether this DClap browser history is her post, or if it's just a topic that she's gone to. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, safe. Next. Okay. Sumit Raj, Raj, Raj Bandari. I apologize for that. Should have pronounced that right the first time. Sumit Raj Bandari. 36-year-old driving instructor from Vineland, New Jersey. $41,000 a year. Hip-hop fan. Dangerously suggestible. Frequent library visitor and a vegan. D Vegans, not a tofu fan? Any alternatives? Sites.com. Ah, oh, so that's not D Clap, it's something else. Or maybe it's a mirror site. NASA, Juno Mission. Dev Kavi, Center, uh, center Find Yourself. Dev Kavi, there we go. Lagged. Here we go. Mary Beth. Mary Beth, I don't know, man, this seems kind of like a cult. They got those Jonestown smiles. Sumit, no, no, they're just friendly. Mary Beth, that's one word for it. Sumit, they really helped my anxiety. Mary Beth, well, I, I guess that's something. I'm assuming it's this Dev Kavi thing. Uh, but she did say cult, and cult is right there on the flags. So, flagged. Good. But you, sir, are a threat, according to my guidelines. And remember, we are playing this as a good company man. We are not you know, making moralistic distinctions here, even though last time we kind of did it, but it didn't really work out all that well. Bradford Barron, 25-year-old Atlanta, Georgia, musician, $112,000, aspiring rapper under Murda Ace, volunteer, parents have a great marriage and went to private school. Of course. Um... What was that? Is it Jay-Z that's from the suburbs? You guys let me know in the comments. I don't know enough about... Um... <laughs> about hip-hop, unfortunately. Uh, D-Clap, D-Music, found this dope rapper, check him out. If this is really his own post, then he's just self-promoting, which is hilarious. But okay, Urban Dictionary, woke. 
Dartmouth College 2020 applications. Okay, nothing. Uh, Sierra Marsh to Bradford Barron. Thank you for your interest. Unfortunately, Reckham Records are not taking on any new artists at this time. Uh, best of luck in your future endeavors. Okay, so he's aspiring, but he hasn't gotten anything. Uh, there's nothing here. Okay, so he's safe. Good. Who's next? Ah, Neil Huang. 51-year-old pharmacist from Minneapolis, Minnesota. $118,000 a year. Laughs at his own jokes. Previously had Munchausen syndrome. He's diabetic and visits escorts. Now, the one thing I don't know offhand is whether Munchausen presents itself with something, with something other than uh, making up or exaggerating diseases. I know that it's a lot about wanting attention. So that might be it. It's just doing things to self-aggrandize. Okay, web, browser history. On non-announcements, shooting a cop at exactly 2 p.m. on Sunday, PST. Well then, okay, let's put a pin in that. Minigame City, Fortress Ants. Pizza Beach, place your order. Okay. Boot box. Neil Wang, just got back from the gym. These 800 pound deadlifts are killing me, lol. Uh, TFW people are talking in another language and I th uh, and think you don't understand. I speak 14. Neil Wang decided definitely doing the Dakar rally next year. All right, so all three are just, I mean, I, I guess I was right. Munchausen presents itself as pure self-aggrandizement and attention seeking, uh, not just purely about trying to get uh, attention from medical professionals. Although that's a pretty simple way of doing it. You just fake an illness and go to the hospital. Uh, so he's self-aggrandizing here. This may be self-aggrandizement, but on the other hand, we are... I don't know if it's proof. Here's the problem. I don't know if it's proof or whether it's even his own post. Let's assume, however, for purposes of this system, that it is his own post because this is a pretty blatant threat, right? Even if it's not, to be fair, uh, we're told to flag the threat, right? So flagged, and we'll see at the end, I suppose. And anyway, I mean, that's some pretty serious stuff to write. Threat. Okay, let's go with this. Katrina Canool, 20-year-old shop assistant from Dallas, Texas, $17,500. Parents deceased, speaks four languages, studying for GED at night, supports her younger siblings. Browser history, two declaps. How do I apply for college and how do I become a US citizen? Study guide, practice GED. Okay. Remy, Katrina. Remy, come on, you deserve it. They practically pay you nothing. Oh boy, here we go. Katrina, I really should return it. Remy, they don't notice $100 missing. Katrina, okay. I, I guess you're right. Well, we are charged with finding theft. And again, we are playing the straight company man. So, these two get flagged. I don't think I need to flag this because... I mean, it's not evident. I mean, it's not enough to flag her as threat, right? Hopefully, they'll actually look at this and think that you know she was remorseful in some way, shape, or form. So, threat. Uh, here we go. Nick Baumgartel, 27-year-old photographer from Tucson, Arizona, twenty-eight thousand dollars a year. Internet addict, highly sensitive hearing, histrionic personality disorder, and collects plastic fish. Histrionic personality disorder is, I think he's prone to like, overly exaggerated emotion, right, or outrage. Okay? Uh, so, web. Rage! Uh -huh, there we go. Why I sucker punch the slow guy in the queue. Video, awful driver will trigger you. 38, most infuriating product fails. Alright, let's put a pin in that one. Because that, that starts hitting on this violent crimes proof thing. Um, Hootbox posts. Nick Baumgartel. Politics in this country is a joke. Just wipe it and start again. Who else hates bad TV? Uh, who, who else hates how bad TV is now? You and me, man. You and me. The goddamn ring came off my goddamn pudding can. And... ah! Alright, so I do like that he's slowly becoming more and more unhinged. Although I don't think that's... Necess I mean, it's all posted relatively close together. Doesn't really matter. Uh, this, on the other hand, gets you a flag. And here's my thought. 
Uh, I don't know if this is intentional on the part of the game designer, although I'm almost positive that it is, but maybe this is to show, or sort of in line with the idea that, look, my system is blind. I don't know if you posted, I don't know if you didn't. The point is, however, that I see this in your history. And if my charge is to go after these things, violent threats, proof of violent crime, I'm flagging you down. Even if somebody comes to you, and then you turn out to be a false flag. But it is a problem, so threat. Okay. I think we got one more. Yes. Cat. Cat Kinberg, 32 year old news blogger from Salem, Oregon, $43,000 or $44,000 a year. Anti establishment journalist, part time stand up comedian, bonsai collector, and a sex addict. Okay. Why do you look like you haven't slept in a while? Okay. Uh, browser history. D. Hookups. Okay, who's in the Salem area? Unzip your zip codes. Featured article, The Horrors of Devil's Breath, and Porn Harbor free streaming 24-7. Okay. And then, uh, Kat Kinberg to Eric Grobelar. I'll be in Bogota next week, but we can talk about the book after that. How's the fourth? I got some serious dirt on the DOL. Okay, well, that's one of our flags. Let's hit this. Bam. Okay. Um, you are safe. I was going to say you're clean, but not necessarily. Not with um, that that thing about unzipping your, your zip codes. Okay. Operation Foxlight ready to submit. We've got four out of seven flagged as, as threats. Let's see how we did. Submit the analysis. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Evidence flag for a four. One evidence incorrectly identified. One appropriate decision. Seven of seven. Keep up the good work. All right, let's see where we are. He was a threat. This is the guy who was... Um, he posted or read or participated in that anonymous thing saying he was going to shoot a cop. Or somebody was going to shoot a cop. So I guess... Yeah, I guess we should have flagged that down anyway. Let's see. Winona you Safe. Good. He... Right, he had that cult thing. He posted on the Sucker Punching Guys in line, uh, or read it, or again, it was in his history, which is how he got flagged. We'll see the follow-up, what happens to him. Uh, she's clean, sure. They won't notice. Oh, so maybe the only evidence that matters is the actual evidence of her agreeing to it. Right, because we flagged this one, and this was incorrect, plus the one saying, okay, I guess you're right, I'll keep the $100. Okay, but this is a pretty petty crime, you know? Hopefully she'll get off pretty light. Because uh, she is supporting her siblings. Okay, and he's safe. But we got 33 enough. Obviously we're at 100, so we'll get our 100 bucks. Okay, give us my give me the 100 bucks. Not that this really does anything. I mean, we still need $10,000 to prevent uh, that pretty obvious loan shark from taking our kneecaps out. And, alright, let's see what the follow-up is on these guys, because I'm kind of curious. Neil Wang, suspect, had no means or intention of committing crime in custody because he was because he's a Munchausen uh, patient. Winona, Zemit, suspect being indoctrinated by cult-like group to be monitored. Nick, victim located, suspect arrested for assault. Oh. Cat, cleared from suspect pool. Katrina, charges not pressed, fired from job. Eh, good and bad. Bradford got cleared. Okay, and where's our where's our daily message asking for the key? <laughs> I'm not giving you a key, man. Anonymous. Big prize today. What's the clue? You really need to talk like that? Here's the key. Or seriously, take no for an answer. Seriously, take no for an answer. I'm banking on that promotion to keep me away from the, uh, the loan shark. And it's just dot, dot, dot. Okay. Let's go home and see what that has in store. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. Although there has to be something, because we don't have the bus pass to go back to work. Uh, anything new on the news? Nope. Bank account. We're at a thousand bucks, but the thing is, he's going to come at us later, and that's not great. Okay. Boot box? No. He's broken. Doesn't want to have any phone. Nope. Okay. Let's see. 
Well, what happens if we try to connect, right? We're going to have the thing that says, well, we can't connect. Okay. Connecting. Access code not found. Quit. Okay. Oh, there it is. Anonymous. Dear concerned citizen, we have not received any valuable information today. Oh, that's a shame. Huh? Oh my god. Lee. Lee. So, Vinny. Don't make me be gauche. I assume your debt is tied up in a ribbon for me? With a handwritten note? Vincent, I'm sorry, Lee. Don't be sorry. You have it, or you're not the friend I thought you were. Vincent, I... No, I don't have it. Lee, well, that's no good, Vinny. You mean I came all the way over to D.C. to your doorstep? For nothing? You broke my heart, Vinny. Ah, uh, well, you live and you learn. Uh-oh. 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 Oops. <laughs> that was great. Oh man, is that... Is that it? Or are we going to see ourselves with like broken legs or something? Nope, we're back here. Okay, so that was the first run. I'm going to do a second run where we 100% give up the... Um, the key, and I'm gonna we're gonna see where that takes us. But that was awesome. I have to say, just from these, you know, what five days of work, really four, because the first day was a tutorial. Uh, I am really looking forward to this game and all of the possibilities because, unlike Orwell, unlike mainlining, there is a lot of sort of independence in this game. Right, you are allowed to choose and decide what evidence matters and what doesn't. I'm hoping that at some point, because I know we can progress through the different levels, I'm hoping that at some point there won't be someone telling us what is and isn't the right evidence. I'm wondering if, as we progress through the levels, we'll be the ones to say what is and isn't right. And it sort of plays the idea of, well, if you have that power, can you abuse it? And can you say, I want this evidence, or I want to track down that guy? And maybe if you have some sort of scheme going, you can say... Well, okay, and now I want to I want to send out an agent or have agents monitor people that could be onto my little schemes, you know. I'm curious. I'm curious to see whether we can do all that stuff. Anyway, with that said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about this episode, if you have thoughts about this game, or you think I should do something specific in that second run, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case. I'll see you all next time.